The message is consistent. Happy Colts fans, Sad Titans fans. It hurts me. It hurts me. At least see, I took the jersey off. I took it off. They're taking their jerseys off here outside of Nissan I Stadium. But the man knows football, and I appreciate his wisdom. Uh, hopefully, they get better. What's going on, Week 6 football fans? My name is Nolan Donlahan, reporting live from Nashville, Tennessee, where the Colts just defeated the Titans 20-17. We're going to head down the block to Nissan Stadium and get live reactions from the fans right now. Man on crutches would have scored three touchdowns. They would have won the game. If Flacco could do it at 45 off the couch, why can't we do it? I think you could do it in Air Maxes. And we're in the bucket hat. Coast game, too close. How do you feel about Flacco? Ah, Joe Flacco. Oh my goodness, he he's good. One, he sparks a moment, and then next thing you know, he flames out sometimes. But at least we captured the win. Absolutely. What's the record now? Uh, I think we were three and three. The Titans ain't worth a dango. They ain't worth a dango. They ain't worth a dango. How much is the dango worth? A dinkleberry. A dinkleberry. Dango's worth a dinkleberry, and the Titans are not even worth a dingleberry. The ref sold. The ref sold. Titans, they get, they do got to do better. Yeah. Titans definitely got to do better. Sure. Brian Callahan needs to coach better. Will Levis definitely has to do better. But the yeah. ref sold. We could have won the game. Bad calls, bad calls. But Titans do, they got to do better. Kind of oh, the the PI, the the holding, all these unnecessary calls. They ain't calling the Titans. They called. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the Colts. Sending drives for them, killing drives for you guys. Exactly, exactly. They, ch they just changed all the, the, the whole dynamic of the game. Well, I don't know why we punted two minutes left in the game. You got to go for it. We punted down down three with the ball. Where were you on the what yard line? Oh, were we? Uh, around the 50. Yeah, around the 50. And you punted. Yeah. Way too conservative. You, you don't have any type of offense to put yourselves in a position like that. You heard it here first. They're playing conservative. They're not throwing the ball well. At least Tony Pollard did well. Yeah. Do you think you're going to rely on him in the run game down the stretch? Got to. Hey, they're struggling to throw the ball. What happened in there? What happened in there? Give me something. We lost, man. <laughs> you know what? What happened, man? You lost. You got a good ground game. Pollard ran for like what, 95? You got to win, though, right? You got to win. But I do feel like the Titans definitely got to do better. Coaching has they too conservative. Sure. Very too conservative. Only 83 yards passing. Well, Levis. At this point, we, we don't have to tank the season. Sure. Tank the season. See if we'll – I don't think he is the guy. Okay. It is five games. See if he can get better. I don't think he will. Yeah. But join love. See what happened last year. Yeah. Just see what happens. If not, we can draft. We can make some – He's at least 17 games, a full season. Exactly. And you don't have a backup plan because Mason Rudolph's been in this league and everybody knows what he is. It's not like you have some young guy who could maybe Thanks. take take over. I agree. I agree. But So as you can see, there's a lot of upset fans here. They're losing patience. They're losing hope. But once had some promise in the offseason after a lot of good acquisitions, a brand new quarterback, a new coach has now fallen flat. And people are depressed. People are losing faith in this team. They're losing patience. We'll see what comes in a couple of weeks when we come back home. The Tennessee Titans head off to Buffalo to face a tough Bills squad. And as always, we'll be here to get the fan reactions when they do come back on Fangoff.